some creative healthcare providers have found a way of offering services to smart and willing consumers that uh, does work outside traditional insurance parameters. Dr. Keith Smith runs a surgery center in Oklahoma, which is okay, where he posts a menu of services and prices, and you don't need to whip out your insurance card. Free market healthcare, Dr. Smith, welcome. Tell me how it works. Well, we, uh, we hardly deal with any insurance companies at all. We still file claims for patients as a courtesy, but we found, found exactly what the LASIK surgeon said, that if we take the manpower and dedicate it to patient care and not deal with all the paperwork and the hassles and even the denials after you go through all those processes, it just, it may, it just makes a lot more sense and it allows us as physicians to deal directly with patients about what care they'll receive and the appropriateness of that. And there's no insurance or government bureaucrat in the exam room telling us how to practice medicine. And All right, so question, uh, um, what services do you offer? What would a typical services look like? And is it just for rich people? <laughs> uh, most of the patients that take advantage of our internet pricing are patients that have been run off by the big hospitals by their pricing. Our, our prices are about a tenth of what the typical so-called not-for-profit hospital charges for the same thing. We offer almost every surgical subspecialty uh, in our facility. And by making this move, we've attracted others here in Oklahoma City to follow follow us. So we have you know, open heart surgery can be uh, obtained in Oklahoma City at a facility that has outcomes that are as good as any of the facilities in the United States. Um, total joint replacement, cancer therapy, and even a full service hospital has joined us in this effort. So there, there's very little that cannot be obtained in the Oklahoma City area in a, in a free market where we're willing to compete and you know, I've got my prices online and if somebody matches our prices I'm going to respond to that, and uh, that just like anybody would in any other industry. And that online tri tri price transparency as you mentioned I mean that really is revolutionary for the healthcare industry but I wonder about transparency in other areas you talked about medical outcomes in terms of letting your customers know about the quality of care I mean when I go on vacation I can go on TripAdvisor and check out this hotel there aren't really mechanisms like that in healthcare. What sort of information are you giving prospective customers? We've uh, we put our infection rates online. Uh, there are very few indices of quality that can actually be followed scientifically, I believe, because that can be gamed very easily. For instance, if you have an unethical surgeon who's operating on people unnecessarily, his outcomes are going to be great because there's nothing wrong with them in the first place. Uh, so it's just very hard to look at outcomes. Uh, Marty Macri at Hopkins wrote a, a book on outcome transparency where he made the case that the best way to measure it is to do a survey of the employees working at a facility and see if they would have their surgery there. Hmm. So I think you have to be very careful with outcomes. Uh, in Obamacare, the outcomes-based pay is basically a rationing tool so that the very sick, complicated patient with many comorbidities it's very, very unlikely to uh, darken the door of a doctor's office because he knows he's going to be profiled based on their outcome. Oh, so yeah. you, have to be very care you have to be very careful with the outcomes. It's brutal. And that term, comorbidities, it scares the bejesus out of me. Dr. Smith, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Absolutely. All right. Up next, one cancer surgeon breaks down the big fight in the age of government-run health care. Can we find a cure or has Obamacare somehow set us back? That's next on The Independence.